Hey, what's up everybody? My name is D and welcome to Smart and Good Channels. And today in this video, I'll share with you guys how to create a website for your massage business. Okay, let's get started. All right, you guys, first, let me show you the websites we are going to build today. As you can see right here, I have a very nice designs website already pre-built for you. So uh, doing it this way, you can save up to uh, $350. Instead of hiring a web developer, build the websites for you. You can just uh, simply sign up for this website. And uh, in a little bit, I'll show you guys how to make the changes for these sections right here. For example, you can pull the uh, Google review straight into your website and you can uh, easily make changes for these sections right here where you can enter the uh, specialist names or if they have the uh, social media pages, you can enter it right here. And uh, the cool thing about this website right here is that if you scroll all the way up here, you'll see the uh, book appointment and uh, when the uh, user click on it, they can book an appointment with you. They can uh, click right here, they can choose the uh, service, they can choose the agent, pick the date, choose the time, and as you can see over here, it showed the uh, summary of this appointment already. And uh, they can uh, click next to continue, enter their customer name, and they can go to the next steps to check out. Okay, submit. And just like that, they can book an appointment with you. And uh, later, I'll show you guys how to set it up so that if you want to accept money online, you can uh, set it up with this uh, booking system right here. But if you want your customers to pay at your locations, you can uh, do that also. As you can see right here, the uh, customers can uh, create an account by simply enter the uh, password right here. Okay, you guys, so uh, right here we have the menu where it takes us to uh, different parts of our websites. So uh, let me show you the uh, services page. And uh, this website right here is uh, very well designed where you can enter off your services right here, off your pricing. And over here we have the uh, booking page where the uh, people can uh, go over here and they can start booking an appointment with your business. So this is the uh, about page right here where you can uh, write more information about your business. And uh, this is your gallery right here where you can import all of the images uh, of your business right here. So these images are very uh, nice already, but if you have your own images, you can uh, replace this. It's very simple, very easy. I'll show you guys how to do this in a little bit. So over here we have the uh, customer sections where they can uh, log in right here or they can go to uh, their dashboards over here which require the uh, users to uh, log in also. Are right, you guys to uh, sign up for this website? It's very simple. All you have to do is just go to uh, smartandgood.com and once you're over here you can go to the uh, theme library and uh, once you're over here you can uh, scroll all the way down then you see the uh, template right here. You can uh, click right here to uh, preview the uh, template. As you can see, you can uh, click right here to uh, check out on a different screen size. All right, when you are sure you want to uh, sign up for this website, you can uh, click right here to use this template. All right, you guys, you can get started for just uh, $10 a month. With this plan right here, you are getting a basic domain name, hosting, SSL certificate, as well as the uh, premium themes and uh, plugins. But uh, with this plan right here, you can choose the uh, premium domain name like the uh, .com and .net. If you already have a domain name, you can uh, choose this plan right here. But let me show you what it would look like when you want to choose the uh, premium domain name. All you have to do is just uh, enter the uh, site title. Okay, enter your URL right here. And as you can see right here, this is your basic domain name. You can uh, click right here to continue to the next steps. And over here, you will have the options of picking your custom domain name. And you can see over here, this domain name already taken, but you can choose the uh, different one, for example. Then uh, go down here and select domain to continue. But because this is an example, so I'm going to uh, skip this step. Now, all we have to do is just create an account. If you have a coupon code, you can enter right here. But if you don't, click right here to agree with the term of services, then create an account. Make sure you remember these informations because you are going to use it to log into your websites later. 
Now all you have to do is just log in with the uh, credential. To activate the website, we need to uh, check out which Stripe Secure Payment Gateway. Once you are over here, you can enter your card information, the name of the card, billing address, and uh, hit subscribe. Okay, you guys, after you check out which Stripe Secure Payment Gateway, you will get redirected to your dashboard. And uh, once you are here, you can go over here to check out the front end of the website to make sure everything worked properly. As you can see right here, this is the exact website templates that we uh, previewed earlier. Okay, scroll down to make sure everything worked properly. Okay, so if you want to make the changes to the front end of the website, there are a couple of ways we can do it. You can uh, click right here to uh, customize the website. And if you want to make the changes for the big sections down here, we can uh, click on Edit with Elementors. And if you want to make the changes for the uh, booking appointment, we can uh, click right here, Lay Point, and it will take us to the uh, dashboard. Okay, first let's uh, make some uh, changes for this uh, header right here. We can go to the Customizer. And as you can see right here, when you hover your mouse over here, you can uh, click right here to make the changes for your logo. And if you don't know how to create a logo, you can simply go to uh, canva.com. Once you are here, you can get started for free, but I have the pro versions right here, and this is perfect. If you are uh, planning to do a lot of uh, graphic designs, they have uh, thousands of uh, templates that we can uh, make the changes for our projects. And if you click on the uh, browse template right here, as you can see right here, they have a lot of uh, pre-built logos templates that we can uh, simply click on it, customize this template, and uh, just like that, you can make the changes for this uh, template right here. When you are done, you can uh, click right here and uh, click on download. And you can choose the uh, transparent background if you want it. Okay, you can go back over here, click on the logo, and we can upload the logo from our computer. You can uh, go down here to uh, make the changes for the size of the logo, as you can see right here. What happens if you want to make the changes for this uh, menu right here? You can uh, simply click right here. And it will take us to this uh, primary menu where we can uh, click right here to configure our menu. Click Edit Menu. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, three homes designs that we can uh, click right here to uh, preview. Okay, so it looks very nice, very professional. Okay, so uh, we can uh, click right here to uh, edit this button right here. We can enter the uh, booking, for example, for this website. When you're done, you can uh, click right here to uh, publish. And it's the same thing for your footer down here. You can go down here, you can uh, write something about your business right here. You can change the menu right here. As you can see, um, this menu right here has this label. So quick links, our service is uh, this one right here. We can uh, go over here and we can remove these, or we can uh, go right here to add new uh, pages to our menu. Just like that, you guys. It's very simple, very easy. Now, if you want to make changes for this uh, body right here, we can uh, click on uh, Edit with Elementors, and then it will open up this uh, screen right here, where we can uh, click right here to edit these sections, or we can uh, click right here to change the text, and uh, click right here to change the uh, buttons. And uh, as you can see right here, this is the um, shortcut button for the uh, booking system. Okay, so when people click on this button right here, it will open up a window where people can book the appointment. Now, what happens if you want to change uh, the background of this section right here? You can uh, simply click right here, go to the uh, style, and over here we can uh, do the uh, classic background where it only have one image, or we can do the uh, gradient, or we can do the uh, video. You can uh, copy a YouTube video and paste it right here. Or we can do the uh, slideshow where I already pre config three images for this uh, slider right here. Uh, you can uh, click right here to uh, change the orders of the images. Or you can uh, click right here to add more images to your slider. And if you don't have the images, you can uh, click right here to get the uh, free images. You can enter any text right here, for example, massage. Click enter. Then you can uh, select these images right here. For example, let's uh, click right here to import this uh, image. Okay, add to a gallery. And we can uh, insert some gallery. And as you can see right here, these images change constantly. 
and uh, down here is the uh, settings for it. So it's an uh, infinite loop, and the uh, duration is uh, 5,000 milliseconds, and this is the uh, transition type. And down here is the uh, background size, which is this to cover this whole section right here. And as you can see right here, we have the uh, Ken Burns effects where it's um, zoomed in. So it's uh, very nice. And if you scroll down, it's the same thing for these sections right here. You can uh, click on it and uh, make the changes directly. And uh, we can uh, click right here, or we can uh, click right here to change the uh, image icon. You can go to uh, canva.com and you can uh, create different size of uh, images and you can uh, go back over here and uh, upload on your website. I already previewed these sections right here, so all you have to do is just uh, uh, go over right here, click on it, and uh, make the necessary changes. So it's very simple, very easy. So right here we have these numbers that we can uh, click on it and we can uh, change these numbers, for example, 900. And then it will run until uh, 900. So it's very cool. Down here is the same thing. We can uh, click on this button right here and uh, it will open up a booking window. And uh, if you scroll down, it's the same thing for these sections where we can uh, click on it and make the changes. If you scroll down, you will see these sections right here where we import the uh, Google review straight into our website. If you have a Google profile, you can uh, go back to your dashboard right here. You can uh, scroll down, click on the uh, trustindex.io. And uh, once you are over here, you can uh, click right here to uh, connect the uh, Google platform. Since I already uh, connect to the Google business profile, I can just uh, click right here to disconnect it. Then uh, we can uh, click right here to uh, connect your Google profile. Once you are over here, all you have to do is just enter your Google profile business name, for example. Okay, usually you can find it right here, but if you don't see it, you can uh, go to uh, google.com and look for your business profile. When you find it, you can uh, copy this link right here. Then we can uh, go back to our website and we can uh, click right here and uh, paste the uh, URL right here. Then we can uh, click right here to load it. As you can see, it just uh, locate the uh, profile. We can uh, click right here to connect it. Okay, now we'll go back to your website. And uh, once you are here, you can select the uh, layout. Uh, they have uh, different layouts for you to uh, select. As you can see right here, they have some nice one. So let's uh, pick one. For example, let's uh, pick the, this one right here. We can uh, click right here to select it. Now we can uh, select a different style for your Google reviews. As you can see right here, they have some nice one. But if you scroll all the way down, you see uh, this one right here where we can have the uh, transparent background and they look very nice. Let's uh, choose this one right here. Okay, now we can do some last settings for this uh, Google widgets. As you can see right here, we can uh, click right here to choose only the four to five stars review. We can uh, click right over here to show the uh, verify review icon, as you can see right here. When you are done, you can uh, click right here to save and get code. Okay, we can uh, copy this code right here. Now we can go back to uh, Elementor's editors and we can uh, click right here to uh, paste it right here directly. Okay, so if you uh, want to uh, put it in uh, different uh, sections, you can uh, go over here. We can uh, look for a short code and we can uh, drag this uh, short code into our section, just like that. Then we can paste the uh, Google review short code right here. As you can see, it's just uh, populated right here. If you don't like it, right click on it and delete. So over here, we have uh, a lot of elements that you can add to your websites, but because I already previewed this website to make it professional for you, so all you have to do is just go in here and make the uh, necessary changes. Now, what happens if you want to make the changes for the uh, booking appointment system? You can uh, click on the uh, lay point and uh, it will open up this uh, dashboard for you where it show you all of the uh, upcoming appointments. And you can see right here, you can uh, click on it directly. It will show you the agents and the uh, services and uh, the times that the uh, customers book over here. Okay, so uh, let me show you how to uh, set up the uh, payments for your website. If you want to accept money as your locations, but you want the customer to uh, make a little deposits on the appointment, we can uh, go to the uh, settings right here. We can go to the uh, payment and we can uh, click right here to install the uh, payment add-on. As you can see right here, we have a lot of uh, add-ons that we can add to our websites. We have the uh, group booking, we have the uh, Google calendars, we have the locations. 
when you scroll down, you can integrate it with uh, PayPal right here. But today I'll show you how to integrate it with uh, Stripe. You can uh, click right here to activate it. Now let's go back to our settings, payment. And now uh, we have Stripe settings right here. We can uh, click right here to enable it. And then now uh, we will need to uh, go to uh, stripe.com. And now uh, we need to create an account. But since I already have an account, so I'm just going to uh, sign in. Okay, after you sign up for the uh, Stripe account, you can set up your uh, business information. You can enter your bank information and then uh, Stripe will uh, direct the process straight into your bank account when you make any uh, transactions. As you can see right here, this is my test account. So uh, all you have to do now is just uh, click on developer. Then we can click on the API key. Then we can uh, copy this API key and we are going to uh, paste this on our website. Okay, now we can uh, paste in the uh, secrets key right here. Okay, if you scroll down, we need to uh, copy this uh, webhook right here. And we need to uh, go back to our Stripe account. Click on our webhook. And we need to add an endpoint. Paste in your endpoint URL. We just copy. Then uh, we can uh, select event. Select our event. Scroll all the way down. At endpoints. Okay, after you create the uh, webhook, you can go back to your website. Over here, we can uh, click on uh, this uh, safe settings right here. Okay, after you set up your payment gateway, you can uh, go to the uh, services over here where we can add new services right here. But let's uh, edit this uh, service right here. Okay, you can enter the uh, service name, you can enter the uh, short descriptions right here, and you can even enter the image for your service. And as you can see right here, you can enter the uh, service durations, how much you want to charge for this service. For example, it's going to be $100, but you want the uh, customers to uh, make a deposit of $20, okay, for example. And if you scroll down, you can uh, select which agents is available for, for this service right here. And uh, when you are done, you can uh, click right here to uh, save changes. Okay, you can uh, go over here and uh, click on the add new agent. And uh, right here you can enter the agent name, last name, nickname. Uh, you can enter the email right here. You can enter the uh, phone number. And uh, if you scroll down, you can uh, select which services this uh, agent can do. And uh, you can uh, click right here to add agent. Okay, now if we go back to the front end of our website, you can uh, click right here to refresh the page. And when the uh, customer click on the uh, book appointment, they can book the uh, service right here. They can book the agent. And as you can see right here, you can see the uh, summary. They can choose the uh, date, the time, click next. And they can enter their contact information right here. And now they have the options of pay the uh, full amount or they can pay just a deposit. Now they can enter the name on the card. They can enter the zip code, enter the card number. When they're done, they can uh, click to go to the next step where they can uh, verify this uh, booking details. And uh, they can uh, click right here to submit it. And uh, just like that, you guys, they can uh, book an appointment with your business. And they can uh, click right here to set the password. Okay, save. And they can go to the account to manage all of these uh, appointments. Okay, now we can uh, go back to the uh, lay points. And if you uh, look over here, we have the uh, calendar. So over here we have the daily view, weekly view right here, and the uh, monthly view. As you can see right here, we have a few uh, appointments that we can uh, click on it and it will show us all of the uh, details. Okay, over here we can even add a transactions right here. We can enter the amount, the cost numbers. Okay, the processors is uh, Stripe, and we can add the uh, transactions like that. Click uh, Save Changes. Okay, over here let's go to uh, some uh, general settings. So these are some of the uh, general settings. You can uh, set the auto approve when the uh, customer make the payment. It will automatically approve for that uh, agent. If you scroll down, you can set up the uh, phone number for your business and you can go to uh, the uh, schedules where you can set up the uh, time for your business right here. You can uh, make the changes, AM, PM right here. If you want a day off, you can uh, click right here and uh, click save. We can go to the steps. If you want to reorder this one right here, we can uh, just uh, simply drag it. 
Okay, so now what happens if you have multiple locations? You can uh, go to uh, your add-on right here. And if you scroll down, you see the uh, locations. We can uh, click right here to activate. Okay, now we can uh, go over here, click on the uh, location. And uh, we can uh, click right here to add a new location. You can enter the location name. We can enter the address. And we can scroll down. We can select which agents is available for which uh, location, for example. And we can uh, click right here to save location. Okay, and as you can see right here, we have uh, two locations. One is our main locations. We can uh, click right here to make the edits for the uh, address. Go back here and we can uh, click save. Okay, we can uh, click right here to uh, view all of these uh, customers. And we can even download the uh, CSV file. We can uh, click right here to add a new customer. Okay, so uh, over here is the uh, notification. We can uh, click right here to enable the email notifications. We can even uh, click right here to add the SMS text messages notification. And if you scroll down, you'll see the SMS Twilio. We can uh, click right here to activate it. Okay, now we can go back to our notification settings. Click right here to enable email notifications. Click right here to enable SMS notifications. And uh, you will need to create the uh, Twilio account. And uh, once you create the account, get the API credential, you can go back over here, enter the phone numbers, the account SID, and the auth token right here. But uh, let me show you how to uh, set up the uh, reminder so we can set up the uh, before and after reminder for your customer's appointment. Uh, doing it this way, we can uh, make sure the customer show up on the appointment date and we can ask for the review after the appointment. So we can uh, click right here to activate the uh, reminder. Now, if we go back to the uh, reminder, right over here and we can uh, click right here to add a reminder we can enter the reminder name before app we can uh, send an email to the customers one day in advance and we can enter the uh, subjects of the reminders your appointment is coming up and we can enter the uh, message right here uh, the cool thing about it is, is that we can go down here and we can uh, copy this uh, short code so the service name, we can uh, go back here and we can uh, paste the uh, service name right here. Service, okay, on this uh, date. We can uh, go down here and we can uh, copy the uh, date, the time, the end time, and stuff like that. We can simply paste it right here. So you are going to use your creativity and uh, create this uh, section right here. And uh, when you are done, you can uh, click right here to uh, save all of the uh, changes. Okay, so it's the same thing. When uh, you uh, want to uh, create an after appointment, you can uh, click right here and uh, we can set up this uh, rule right here and uh, we can uh, copy the uh, Google profile and you can enter this right here and you can ask for a Google review. Okay, so for this one is for the uh, SMS template. You can uh, click right here to make the uh, custom message and it's the same concept. And uh, this one right here is the email template. You can uh, click on it. Enable appointment confirmations email to the agent. Okay, enable agents notifications appointment status change. So customers will enable the uh, appointment confirmations email to the customers. This uh, will uh, make sure the uh, customers acknowledge of the appointments. And uh, once you are done, you can uh, click right here to save all of the uh, changes. Now we can uh, go back to the uh, front end of our website. Let's uh, refresh this page right here. And now uh, when we go back to book the appointment, we can uh, book the uh, service. We can choose the uh, location. We can choose the agent, pick the date, choose the time, go to the next steps, contact information right here, and uh, pay the uh, full amount with Stripe Payment Gateway. And if you don't want the uh, zip code right here, you can uh, go back to uh, your lay point and go to the uh, payment setting. And if you uh, scroll down, you will see this uh, button right here. Click on it. So this one do not ask for the zip code or the uh, postal code. You can uh, click right here to save it. And uh, when you go back and uh, refresh this page, and when you click on it, uh, it should go away. As you can see right here, now it's look very nice. Okay, you guys, so this video is kind of getting long right now. So if you have any questions or if you experience any issue, feel free to uh, contact me. I'll put my information in the video description so you can check it out. Doing it this way, you can save up to $350 instead of hiring a website designer to build the website for your business. 
you can uh, just spend 20 to uh, 30 minutes of your day and then uh, you know exactly how to create the websites and how to manage the website for your business. I want to uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, feel free to uh, contact me if you want me to build the website for your business. And please make sure you uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to uh, support. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.